Greetings to all. We celebrate the fifth Sunday of Easter. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. With your we begin our liturgy by calling to mind our sinfulness and asking the Father's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Pray, Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you are pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading today is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the Twelve called together the community of disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve a table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task. Whereas, we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was accepted to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit. Also, Philip, <clears throat> Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. 
The word of God continued to spread, and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading today is a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him a living stone rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God, and like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, it is value, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, a stone that will make people stumble and a rock that will make them full. They stumble by disobeying the word as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. If you have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. 
No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me? Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the words themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There was a very wealthy man, but he was on his deathbed. And uh, he was laying there in his deathbed. He knew he was going to die very, very soon. And the priest uh, asked, he, he said to the man, do you have any last requests before you know you go up to heaven, before the Lord takes you? And uh, he says, yes, I'd like to request that when, I, and my, when I'm dying, I'd like my lawyer to be on one side of my knee on the bed, and I want the town mayor to be on the other side. And the priest was kind of taken aback because this lawyer was known for being very unscrupulous, taking advantage of his clients all the time. And uh, the town mayor, the town mayor he was always up talking, it was on trial for graft and bribery charges. So uh, the priest was kind of baffled that the man would want these two men of questionable uh, reputation to be standing on each side of him while he's while he's taking his last breaths and the, and he asked him why would you want these two men like this and the, uh, the man said you know father I want to die like my savior did between two thieves <laughs> of course the idea of death is a reality for all of us and the reality and it seems like Jesus we can say is addressing it right in our gospel do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God. Have faith in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? I will come back again and take you to myself. Where I am, you also may be. And of course, these words, this gospel is very popular use in funerals. And they are very comforting words that Jesus tells us Always constantly, do not be, let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. All will be well if you have faith in God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. We bring our petitions to our heavenly Father. Our intercessions, please respond. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For all those called to minister to God's people in the church throughout the world, may they show those entrusted to their care the way to the Father and be heralds of the good news to all who search for truth. We pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, may wisdom and integrity prevail. So people speak peace, not in word or speech, but only in truth and action, and for all regions of the world torn by conflict. May peace and harmony be restored, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For the young people of our parish who received the sacrament of First Communion this weekend, may they grow in their love for the Mass and for Jesus' presence with, with us in the Blessed Sacrament, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For this faith community, as we continue to celebrate this joyful Easter season, May our faith deepen, our hope be strengthened, and our love 
abound as we draw our life from Christ by sharing in this Eucharistic celebration, we pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For those suffering from illness of body, mind, or spirit, may the risen Lord's healing presence bring them hope, peace of mind, and restored health. We especially remember Nam Fan, Kim Nelson, Kathy Boyle, Frank Desenga, Dennis Sulk, and Barbara Heil. And for all those who have died in the peace of Christ, may they dwell in the heavenly places prepared for them by the risen Christ, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. For our needs and concerns held in the silence of our hearts, and for those written in the book of petitions in the Eucharistic Chapel, especially John and Esther Michalek, Gerald Johnson, Joanne Frail, Lorraine Riedel, Deacon Tom Fricke, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Almighty God, may our prayers increase our love for you and one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work with human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. O oh God, who by this wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may be, make it ours by a worthy, worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy. the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer your Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and him, with God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor to you forever and ever. the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer us and a peace to one another. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. Let us pray. 
graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from firmer ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your May Almighty God bless us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Mass is ended, go in peace. Everybody, it's Louie, Gracie, Father Bob. Hope all are well. Uh, you know, as we can see, we had two doggies here. A little story about kittens, though. It's about this boy. His father took him to visit some friends on a farm, and uh, it just so happened that the at the farmer, they, the, the the cat had a litter of kittens, and the little boy got to play with the litter of kittens. So when they got home. The little boy telling the mother about his trip and about the little kittens. And he said to the mother, yes, there were, there were five kittens, there were two boys and three girls. And the mother says, how do you know, how, how do you know there were boys and girls? How, how, how do you know that? And he said, well, daddy turned them upside down and looked, I think it's written on the bottom. <laughs> so anyway, hope all is well with everybody. Blessings to all. Take care.